Poetry is poets pretending not to be hurt. Like if we put together these words, these subject nouns and verbs, sentence after sentence still seems so senseless because even after we're finished, it doesn't stop a jail sentence. It doesn't stop the killing, it's only a form of healing. So while we sit back right relaxing words without action, we don't realize that we're half of the problem, like a one over two fraction. And yes, we all have issues, but some of us have longer subscription. We all have problems, but some of them cause for division. So I guess poetry is poetic politicians. We know what the problem is, but we choose not to fix it. We just use our words as petitions. Poetry is. Poetry is important to me because all that I truly own are my thoughts. And while that may sound like an easily discernible notion, it's not. Although I am no longer naive enough to believe that poetry can change the world, I am wise enough to admit that it has changed my life. And since my thoughts are all that I own, I owe it to myself to use them to construct and accumulate my work while adding value to my life. One thought, one word, one phrase, one line, one poem at a time. Poetry is going to a buffet where they serve Mitchell food, then catching a cold train to the corner where D-flat meets the avenue of inner sentimental mood. Poetry is the older uncle of hip hop. Poetry is the swinging and swing to the beat of Bob Marley's dreadlocks. Poetry is the striding Harriet Tubman steps as she walks the Underground Railroad with a gun cocked. Poetry is Martin Luther King using his last breath to say, tell Greta I will always love her right before his heart stops. Poetry is. Poetry is new to me. Through words I strip the truth down to its birthday suit. Plain naked. Through rhymes how I get wasted. Poetry is simply how you taste it. Clear gin or brown in the sea. You can even like your Moscato pink. But a poet's favorite alcoholic drink will always be ink. Poetry is the salt around the rim to help subdue the steam. Poetry is what you think. Poetry speaks what the mind can't see. Poetry is what... Poetry is words spoken, searching souls for consciousness stolen, rhythmic remedy to revitalize in a lost child's purpose, a ghetto child's only way to escape dark days and cross hurdles, doorways to discovery, destinations to dreams, destined to be deferred by expectations predestined, a pedestal for prophets to pour passion into pools of people, swimming for asses in deep seas of false prophets, preaching for profit. In other words, poetry is my savior. It arrived around the same time death was scheduled to be delivered at the front door of my adolescence. I guess you could say poetry is a blessing. Word. Poetry is being shackled to a feeling and emotion with an unwillingness to be silent or broken. Visions chosen for illustration like scriptures, riddles wrapped in revelation, replacing life's hollows deep within by allowing belief to take hold of the wind. Revolution of reasons unmuzzled, underlying strength for overarching struggles. Poetry simply 